This is Eric Mwadi with Mwadi.com. Let's take a look at the two-year weekly chart for Netflix. What we want to take a look is this period where we had a nice tight base here before we have this explosive move to the upside. So we can see that the tight base is also represented by the RSI, which stayed flat, showing that on a closing basis, this was very tight. Now, whenever you have this type of a nice tight base, what is suggests is that there's going to be movement. Either you get a breakout, and sometimes you actually do get a breakdown, which takes prices lower. And the truth is, while we are in this base, it is hard to tell which of these scenarios is going to play out. But what traders do is you can take, for example, the highest recent weekly closing high in this example. Use that as your alert. And once you see a price breakout, then that is indication that the bullish scenario is starting to take shape. So that would be a breakout entry at that level. Now. The reason why I bring that up is right now you can see that we've been closing around 340 almost for the last four weeks. Very tight base. This is also evident by what looks like a flat RSI. In other words, what this suggests is that there is either going to be movement with a breakout to the upside to begin another fantastic run or we can get a breakdown below this area to begin a move to the downside so a nice tight base suggesting there is some price movement that is imminent and we can also see another way of looking at this which is this breakout here that rsi movement so a nice breakout here we can draw our uniformity line should be something like that and what we get here is it gives us some nice areas for guidance. A break below the green line for this sell period. We tried to move above the line here on multiple occasions. For a couple of weeks we failed, which turned out to be the highs before the eventual pullback. And you can see that right now also we've come back to this general area. So either we are going to get a breakout above the green line to begin a move to the upside or this line is going to continue be resistance and ultimately with the resistance it might suggest that the next meaningful direction is lower so let's say you wanted to play this from a bullish perspective what one can do is there are two lines and this is now the one year one year daily and I'll show you two lines if we take the intraday highs and connect them with something like that we can see that this is the first line of resistance so if you want to be bullish you'd want to see the stock at some point move prices beyond that price top side resistance line or let's say you'd need to see a price breakout above the recent daily closing high. And the level to watch there for a breakout is 354.64. And for the bearish scenario, one can use a trend line connecting recent lows like this. In other words, a break below that trend line would be a trigger that the bearish scenario is taking shape. And another way to catch any downside move is to use the recent daily closing low. At 321.99 as your trigger. For a sell signal, which would be the level to watch for a movement to the downside. Eric Mwadith, 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 Mwad